Women who inspired a generation. A hundred years after the end of the First World War, the Dick Curl ladies won the Special Recognition Award at this year's Northwest Football Awards. I'm absolutely thrilled and I'm, I'm pleased for them because they so, so deserve it. It's a wonderful human story. It's, it's not just football, it's, it's what they did for the community. It's, it's everything that these women encapsulate and, and that they were, they were just amazing. Back in Preston, Gail Newsham, who has told the story about the Dick Kerr ladies in her book A League of Their Own, reflects how far women's football has come since the FA lifted the women's span in 1971. People are wanting to know about women's football now in this country and after all that we've been through, all the battles that we've had to fight to get recognition, it's finally, finally, you know, coming home for all of us. Women's football has come a long way since these women took to the pitch for the first time on Christmas Day 1917. It started here in the deepest of dales in Deepdale, but now the gap between men's football and women's football is shrinking in the northwest. Neve Charles won Rising Star of the Year at the Northwest Football Awards, but growing up, playing for Liverpool seemed like an unachievable dream. I think it's massive for obviously the growth of the game and to have a bit of history behind us and a bit of so we can see where we've come from and like growing up it was a dream but it wasn't really necessarily a reality but now I think that's something people can aspire for so it, it's brilliant to live day in day out your dreams, I couldn't ask for more. They've broken through the barriers now and it feels like women's football is really uh, getting the attention that it, that it deserves but it wouldn't have happened of course without those pioneers like Gail. With the women's game getting more popular, what is the next step? Oh. England winning the World Cup would be a good place to start, wouldn't it? <laughs> Last Magnus England Royce, Salford now, Preston.